So is black hat SEO really bad? Um, and I guess it depends on who you are and what you're trying to accomplish, right? So it's really bad if I'm an SEO agency doing SEO for clients and I'm engaging in activities that could potentially get those clients' websites penalized on Google, 1,000%. Not only is it bad, but I think it's unethical for agencies to be operating in that manner because there is such thing as as getting a website like penalized from Google because of the activities that you're engaging in. Uh, examples could be using private blog networks to build links. It could be, um, you know, basically kind of doing kind of like shady things with your link building strategy. Anyway, there's all kinds of reasons on like what would be considered black hat. Um, but on the opposite side of that, right, there's a lot of people that are like in the affiliate marketing space where they're building websites and their whole goal is to um, manipulate Google, um, where they will push the boundaries to try to rank on Google as high as they can, as quickly as they can, knowing, right, they know the risk factor of that, you know, at any point, this website could get banned, but they're perfectly okay with it because it's their website, they're in control. And if they can actually get this website at the top of Google for six months, and make $2 million as a result, like it's nothing illegal to do that. You know what I mean? So it just kind of depends on, on the strategy and the risk tolerance that you have, right? People might argue, well, that's a waste of time if you spend all that time and energy trying to get a website to rank. And then all of a sudden it just kind of like just gets killed because of a Google update. But heck, if they were able to make $2 million in six months because they've exploited Google, like, I don't know, like there's nothing illegal about what they did. It's just a different practice and they knew the risk factor.